What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Last Minute Living. Uh, unfortunately, we're still in Perth and the weather is not that great. Uh, but I'm going to take this opportunity to go for a bit of a run through on our sleeping arrangements that uh, we use. Uh, the famous King's Big Daddy Deluxe. And what I have in my hand here is uh, some glow zippers. I just got them from, uh, I think, Outback Equipment uh, online. So they've just come in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set my swag up and, and chuck these bad boys on. Um, yeah, and just let you know what we think about uh, swags and ignore the mess over there. We're about to move house. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep this content rolling. Unfortunately, we've got a few things coming up um, on the weekends and stuff. So... We've not been able to get out there on trips, but we're still going to keep the content rolling for you. So um, stay tuned and we'll, we'll keep it going. So there it is, guys. Super easy setup. As you see, I did it one person. Real easy, do it all the time. Super handy, low to the ground, really good for really windy conditions. Like one of those trips we went to Logue Brook when um, it was blowing a gale, as it as it does. Um, super handy, it, it didn't move, didn't even have to um, peg it out. Uh, I very rarely peg it out with these. Um, don't really find the need with one person. If you do have two people, the sides sort of slump in a little bit. Um, so probably want to look at pushing that out and then it'll give you a bit more clearance if you've got two people in there but for me it works great and now I've um, got Seldy on the train as well so he's got another two swags that he uses uh, he's been through a couple of setups now um, he's had gazebo tents uh, he's had a, a camp trailer he's used a couple of times on trips uh, before we started this whole thing um, just for his sort of fault finding through that we've found um, swags super easy to transport and um, set up and they don't take up a lot of room they're super du durable which is really good for these um, I'll take you inside I'll show you what I've done there so what I've got here is a Spinifex Moon Dance um, Queen sleeping bag fits perfectly in there the best thing about it is if you look underneath here basically it's got like a fitted sheet it's going to the bottom of that and um, yeah that just lives in there permanently and I tell you what I think it's rated to about zero degrees but it is bloody warm in there so great for those winter camps that hopefully we'll be getting on to soon. Get somewhere where we can get a campfire going and maybe do a bit of fishing. But um, that was a great investment. I think I got that from Anaconda. So um, if you're looking at a swag, definitely pretty handy. Saves you having to put uh, bedding and that in there. That just stays in there. It's also, if you look um, underneath, it's sort of got like a, a lining underneath as well, like a sleeping bag. So yeah, super cool. All right, so basically now I'm going to be putting on these little glow zippers just to make it a little bit more easier to find uh, your zips at night. I uh, don't know how I'm going to film this, but we'll, um, we'll give it a crack anyway. Harder than I thought, but uh, got there. It'll be super handy. Time to do the rest. Hopefully, you can see that there. It's not even that dark, but they're glowing. It's going to be way easier to find things at night. Straight away, I can tell this is making it a hell of a lot easier to, um, to zip these up as well. There it is guys, like I said, these are definitely worth the money, um, that's for sure. I've seen a lot of other different swags, whether they're better or not, I don't know. This does the job, it's 150 bucks with a bag. Just before I pack it up, I uh, just want to let you know, especially if you're uh, if you're actually by yourself like, like me, um, 
in, in one of these swags. They are a real pain to, to roll up. Uh, but what I found is the bags are actually way bigger than what they need to be. So that works in your favor. So if you go out, get yourself some of these pull, pull um, straps. It's from Bunnings. Uh, you probably need about a three meter. I think this one's a four meter, a little bit too long. They just feed in on themselves like that, pull them tight and she'll fit in the bag. It just saves you having to use the um, straps that are on the bottom because uh, you need to roll it up a lot tighter for those straps to work, but you don't need it that tight to go in the bag. So uh, basically, I'm gonna roll up. I'm gonna show you how I do it. Hopefully I can do it first go. You'd think I'd be able to after a lot of practice. Um, but yeah, especially if you're keeping, uh, like I said, that Spinifex um, sleeping bag in there, obviously it makes it a little bit more bulky. So. Um, these straps here, way to go. it is all packed up I managed to get it first go <laughs> not that you guys would know because I did it out anyway um, yeah no matter how much flack Kings get or other brands get you know some things are gonna work some things aren't and I mean for the price of this I've had mine for about two years now and um, taken it on some pretty cool trips I went up to Coral Bay used it all up there You've seen plenty of them on the channel. We use them every time we go camping. Um, does what it needs to do, so as far as I'm concerned, that's your decision made right there. Just, um, yeah, like I said, a few of those little little tips, especially with the straps there, you'll find it way easier to roll it up, especially by yourself. If you've got two people, great, you could probably do it uh, with the straps that are on there, um, but for the sake of probably 10 bucks, you can get yourself two of those and uh, make it a lot easier on yourself bags super handy too um, so get one of them and um, yeah there it is hope you enjoyed um, let us know if you're one of those weird people that like these uh, cold temperatures because uh, we certainly don't here at last minute living but um, anyway um, we'll see you on the next video and hopefully we can get out there and uh, bring you something a little bit more exciting but until then hope you got some good information out of that um, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can do some more. If you like them, let us know. Drop some likes. Let us know in the comments if you want to see other products reviewed or whatever. We'll be doing it off our own back. We don't have affiliations or anything. Well, not yet anyway, but um, that won't stop us from uh, bringing you content. So um, let us know down below. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one.